How you doing, YouTube? This is Fleet from Murkops, South Florida. I'm at Battletown in South Florida, good USA. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my gear, a couple of new equipment that I just acquired, and uh, pretty much uh, really happy with it, to tell you the truth. I'm going to start off with my uh, Emerson Fast Helmet. Right now, putting it on so you can see how I have it fixed. All right, as everybody can see, it's very comfy. It has a lot of padding inside. I have right now the bungee war sport thing going on here. Very secure for chem lights, radios, whatever else you guys like to put on there. Uh, very light, as you can see, it doesn't uh, affect anything. Put the cheek up. It doesn't you don't need a counter or anything like some of the other helmets they have? There. The plastic's pretty heavy. It's really light, so you won't strain. You can carry it all day, you won't feel it. Um, very easy to take off. I did apply a custom little paint job. If everybody knows who I am, I, I'm always painting all my shit. So, trying to mimic as much as possible the the crept pattern, since the team is gonna, my team is uh, switching over to that pattern soon. Um, as you can see, guys, it's very durable. It's very adjustable straps for any size head, pretty much, and uh, very light. So. With that being said, I'm gonna work on my next piece of equipment. Put this over here for right now. Uh, let me take this off. This is the Banshee plate carrier from Shellback Tactical. Um, pretty much everybody's jumping on this, like, you know, very quick, very popular bass, very comfy. I went ahead and added a couple of little pieces here. I added a little mock plate carrier system in there that I do for all my equipment. It makes my front equipment a lot sturdier uh, and at the same time it gives me a little cushion if I need to jump down real quick I'm not ooh, hitting all my gear against my stomach my chest and my sternum okay I got like a little cushiony fall if I need to be that being said very adjustable has a lot of molly platform all over the place you got a lot of real estate on the sides okay very you can bring your arms closer so if you need to okay it's as you can see, very you can very very compact vest. With that being said, take this off real quick. Talk about now the actual the Haley Strategic D3 chest rig system. Okay, I did do a little modification to it. I used the existing clips that the Banshee comes in for the inside. Okay, use that and to weave through the Molly system to use the clips for the, the chest rig that it comes with. Okay. As you can see it's very it's on tight now with that being said holds it pretty much in place you go to about four mags you can hold a lot of weight if you need to extra more firepower you put more two mags here if you need to put extra piston pouches right here the cord bungee core system on this is really tough man and guys that use gloves look at that you can just you just grip to your gloves no they won't slip so in a tight situation if you need to you can just take it right out put it back on okay with not worrying about slipping now the stuffy pouch right now you see I got a water system here flattens out if you don't want to carry anything in it at the same time you can put about two extra mags in there total three uh, with a couple more you can carry a full loadout if need be this is a very light system right now I got going on here a light loadout that way when you're running quick games you, can, you still have the capacity to pack a punch and not run out of ammo if need be uh, with, with that being said, I'm going to show you pretty much how I actually secured. Got some black down malice clips and I cut them down to give it that little extra support that I need and I'll show you why in a minute. As you clip these out, okay. Okay, see that? The backing part. Right here is all Velcro. And you use the existing Velcro on the bench and you set yourself up. Now to put it back on, she's fairly simple. Now before I put it back, I'm going to show you what I was talking about. Everybody see that right there? These little mouse clips. Right here, underneath it, this is holding that in place. So when you pull on it, it's not going to flap down. Okay? I added a little industrial adhesive Velcro inside there as well to just keep it in place. Same goes for the other side. You can see, it's very sturdy. Now, I'm going to put it back on, as you can see. Now granted, this is perfect for that sniper or a DMR guy who wants to do, still has like an M4 platform or like a little 
small machine gun with an M4. Mag capacity, you can still hold, this holds just about every mag capacity, AK-47 uh, to M4 mags, all types, P mag steel, you name it. So you can put a various amount of mags. If that DMR guy wants to drop his kit, put it in his pack and take out his ghillie, it'll be a lot lighter, you can still use his battle belt. As you can see right here, like I use it. This is an ATS battle belt. Everybody's rocking the high speed gear one right now, currently, because it's a lot more secure, I can tell you that, compared to this one, but this one has the sure grip in the inside as well and she doesn't move. That's uh, my side of my right hip and my three, three o'clock four. I got uh, my secondary, which is a WeTech G26, and some high-speed gear tacos for extra support mags I have on the side. I got two double-deckers, one with a pistol mag grip with the M4, and I got two dome M4. And the last one, at least my dump pad, which is very sturdy. I recommend it to anybody that uh, likes to carry a lot of weight in their dump pouch, you know? Uh, the e bomb one, get it at skdtactical.com. Uh, the chest rig, plus everything much, it's pretty much balances the whole kit out. That way, I'm not running so heavy. Okay, uh, the helmet, I got it at PMC Milsom in Hialeah. Great guys, you guys should check them out. Um, they pretty much uh, have just about everything you pretty much need from pouches to even the Banshee plate carrier. They got a bunch of uh, shell back tactical gear there as well. And um, once you get all your gear, come check us out here at BT. Catch y'all later. Peace.